Hello everyone! I'm Bonnie Nakagawa, and welcome to another tutorial. Do you like vampires, werewolves, or even demons? Well today, I'll show you how to make their fangs. It only requires PMX or PMD editor, and just a minute of your time. I'll use yellow as an example. She may not be a vampire, but she needs fangs too. After opening your editor, head to the Material tab. Then you can begin cycling through each of your model's materials to find them out. On most Tada models, it's often marked as Face 09. Make a note of which material that is. Once you've figured out which material you need, click Edit and select the Plugin tab. A UV editor should come with most English versions of PMX Editor, but I'll leave a download link in the description just in case. This is where that note you made earlier will come in handy. After selecting the mouth material, you should see the texture for it. Go ahead and select those teeth. I only selected the top part, but you can highlight both if you want. After highlighting your teeth, click Show Selected in 3D View. Go ahead and uncheck all of your model's other materials, and repeat what you did in the UV editor. Left click and select Split, and then Yes. A new material should be created from that called New. You can name it to keep better track of what it is. After splitting and naming the material, make sure it's the only part selected on your Vertex Masking tab. Open the Transform View section of your editor and zoom up on your model's face. Here you can see what your fangs will look like as you edit them. Locate one of your model's mouth morphs and set it to 1. I recommend using the A morph for it. It's usually the first pink morph on your model's morph tab. Once you've got your transform view ready, go back to the model view. Now you can begin creating your fangs. Make sure to select the green vertex button at the bottom of your editor. Right click on the part of the teeth you want to sharpen. Then hold down your shift key and select its opposite side. Begin dragging down those orange vertices until they're longer than the rest of the teeth. You can see them in the transform view and adjust as you go. When you're done making your fangs, it's time to save your work. Go to File and click Save As. Of course, your edit should be in the same folder as the textures, tunes, and SBAs. You can even give your edit a different name from the original model. With your work saved, you can close your editor and open your model up in MMD. Here you can test out your model's morphs with their new fangs. Don't they look fantastic? And with that, we're done! I hope this helps in making your models look fantabulous, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.